Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name's Kate. And I'm Alex. And we are back with another first. Yeah, this one's from Hawaii. Woohoo! This is really exciting. It's a place we've always wanted to visit. Yep. We haven't knowingly tried stuff from Hawaii before, have we? Apart from these crisps Apart that we absolutely crisps. love. So if they're anything to go by, I can't wait to get into this. Yeah, Hawaii just looks like the most beautiful place. The weather always looks amazing. Mm. Well, I know you have some rainstorms and yeah. things, don't you? But it looks amazing. And I feel like the products kind of symbolize that. Yeah. Look at the, the bright yeah, colors. Fun, and fun, colorful. Yeah, so I'm super excited for this. And actually, maybe we should have started the video by saying aloha. Oh yes, aloha. Maybe we should have, um, you know, things on. I bet that's just for tourists though, isn't it? That is probably, yeah. no, it's not for tourists. You've got one. Oh, you've got two, where are they from? Aloha. Aloha. Now, I'm a bit gutted because I'm pretty sure from an event we went to, yeah. we had a flower one. It's one of those things where mm. you keep somewhere and you don't know where it is. Yeah, but um, it too me and Hulls, uh, me and Hulls, me and Mum went on holiday and it was like this Hawaiian themed cocktail place. Yeah. And they gave you these. Really? Um, and it's really awesome. And I just did some research and it says, Lays are constructed of flowers, leaves, seashells, seeds, nuts, feathers or even bones of various animals. A lei is a common symbol of love, friendship, celebration, honor or greeting. In essence, it is a symbol of aloha. Aloha. In ancient Hawaii, wearing a lei represented wealth, royalty and rank. Mm, so, that's cool. Sorry, these aren't the best ones, but no. I thought, bring them out. That's what we've got. Hello, Kate and Alex. We are so excited to share treats from Hawaii with you. But first, I'd like to tell you that watching your videos during this time of quarantine have been such a joy for us. We recently started watching the WTF videos too, and they are hilarious. They have us laughing so hard. Oh, good. Oh, that's good to hear. That's what we like to hear. I know you most likely start with savory snacks and Messina wanted to tell you, Kate, that there are a few spicy things in this box, but we're not trying to poison you here, or are they? <laughs> All right, that's the thing. It's always like, I'm not a serial killer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what people who are trying to poison you say. <laughs> the wasabi peanuts aren't too bad either. We love them and I think Alex will think they would make a good bar snack. I'm sure you're right. There are a few themes of flavors here. One being macadamia nuts, which Hawaii is one of the world's largest producers of. Whoa. Mochi crunch, which is a Japanese rice cracker flavored with a sweetened soy sauce. Sounds amazing. Please enjoy and take care. Look forward to seeing what other fun videos you create. And then they sent another box because they'd forgotten yeah. about um, some things. And with uh, their two boxes, we were sent this amazing calendar, which is awesome. Oh, that's cool. I love calendars like this physical calendars that you can actually write on, aren't they good? We'll have to pop this up in our office. Oh, wow. How beautiful Isn't is that? Isn't that crazy to think some people actually live here? <laughs> live and go surfing there. Looks amazing. Looks so good. But I usually like looking at my birth month and that's Alex's too. Oh, that's nice. I would happily chill there. That is so nice. You'll have to let us know down below in the comments if you've been to Hawaii before and if it really is as amazing as it looks and people say. Hawaii is a state of the United States of America located in the Pacific Ocean. It is the only US state located outside of North America, the only island state and the only state in the tropics. I feel like we've got a real rounded taste Mix of, of Hawaii now. So this yeah. is super exciting. So shall we start with more of the savory items? Yeah, let's. <laughs> so we've got some taro sticks there. And uh, they say here, taro is an ancient staple food here in Hawaii. And if fried, they eat like a chip. They're also good with dip. Well, it's a bit like a potato, isn't it? But it's not. Because didn't we have taro chips from somewhere else? Yes. And I think they're a little bit like a potato. I do think they come out the ground round, but they're not a potato. Oh, these bongos look good. And we have tried these sweet Maui onion and absolutely love them. Uh, but we wanted to try them again because we've got two other flavors. Can we start with the taro sticks yep. then? You want to open the bongo? Also sold in India, Sri Lanka, Papua, Papua New, New Guinea. Guinea, Fiji, Australia, New Zealand. Bake not fried. So these are a natural cheddar cheese flavor baked puff. Mm. Mm. How are these? Mm. Yeah, just nicely oh, wow, salted. Oh, they're really thin. They're, um what you expect from like a um, a Cheeto. I don't think they have as much punch as a Cheeto, mm. but they're still really good. Mmm. Mm. These are really good. 
I like these. I remember last time loving taro. I really like them. They're, They're really very nice. simple, but they have got a nice flavor themselves. So if yeah. you just put a bit of salt on, as they have, they're just naturally really good flavor. Yeah, that's really good. Mm. I quite like vegetable chips. I vegetable. Don't, <laughs> vegetable. I don't often pick them, but when mm. I've seen, when I've had them, they're so delicious. They give a different sweetness in a way. I quite often choose vegetable crusts. I quite like them. And I love the form factor of these. Yeah, the fact they're in the round. Yeah. Mmm. Lovely. Well, I like how soft they are. What are you giving all those? I'm gonna give them both 10 out of 10. I right. think I'm gonna go 9 out of 10 for the cheese rings and 10 out of 10 for the taro chips. I'm gonna give them both 10 out of 10 because I would happily eat those bongo cheese. Yeah, so would as I. Much as, um... They're absolutely amazing, but I'm just saying yeah. because Cheetos are my absolute <laughs> all time faves. Yeah. They're just slightly below it. I think they're as good as Cheetos. Do you know what you could do? Get a crunchy Cheeto and put it in the middle of that oh, and then nice. have like a pairing. Ooh. What flavor have you got? Luau barbecue. Ooh, jalapeno. Look how they spelled that. Oh yeah. And then the sweet Maui onion. Mm. Oh my God, these are oh, sweet Oh look, and how spicy. funny. Not a product of Hawaii. I was about to say, where are they from? Oh. Washington. Hawaiian brand though. I wonder if they used to be. Yeah, mm. which is funny because they've been sent from Hawaii, so they must be sold in Hawaii. Yeah, okay, these are 20 out of 10. So are these. Whether these are Hawaiian or not, they're good. Mm. Next time we're in the US, we'll have to try find these. Mm. I feel like my eyes would have been drawn to them if I saw mm. them. They do the sweetness mm. really well. Really well. Yeah, these do have a kick. Mm. So sweet and spicy. But for me, just the perfect kick, yeah. enough that I can taste it, but not enough to put me off. I just think the branding is amazing. Oh my word. It says Tim's on the back. It's a part of those Tim's crisps. Oh, well, maybe. And then jalapeno. Do you mm. think it's going to be spicy? How spicy is this going to be? I feel like the barbecue's made yeah. my mouth sing quicker than these. Mm. I just can't actually taste it. But sometimes we've had it before where the jalapeno is mm. just kind of peppery, not actually that spicy. Yeah. These are nice. I'll tell you what is spicy. Dill, Dill pickle, pickle, flaming hot. I'm giving the Luau barbecue and the jalapeno 10 and these 20. I'm mm. gonna give the sweet and spicy and the Maui sweet onion 20 out of 10. And I'm gonna give the jalapeno 10 out of 10. Mm. Oh, what a great start. I think that was it in terms of like um, crisp, but we've mm. got quite a few snack things. Yeah. That almost seems like Japanese-y. Yeah. I wonder if, because it's- Where it is. Where it is, maybe they get influences from other countries mm. around it, other than the States. So now we're moving on to more like snacks and popcorn. I love the sound of this, Hawaiian hurricane popcorn. I know, yeah. Mochi crunch and nori. Mm. And I just love the whole colors Ooh. of all of this. Mochi crunch and nori, are these gonna be like almost a little bit- um, I have no clue. Nori seaweed, isn't it? So are these gonna be quite savory? Yeah, almost a bit fishy. Well, should we try these Let's try those first, And the party reckon. mix, maybe. Oh, oh I was thinking that. This. this feels nice. I love this branding. Didn't we have something like this? Oh. Yeah, we had a- Oh, wow. It's got it's seaweed got... around the outside. What? We had something like this from Japan, didn't we? Smell that. that sounds, it smells, smells like um, sweet corn. Going in. Oh, my word. Mm. This mm. is amazing. I've always seen popcorn as a sweet because in England, we only really had sweet and salty and caramel. And when we went to America, that was the first time we saw a cheddar popcorn. Yeah. And now this is savory. This is like seaweedy. Mm. Is that good? I think I've got a new favorite snack. Really? What's the flavor inside? Sweet. It... It's like wow. sweet and sea, seaweedy. They sent us two of these. Mm. This is amazing. They do say when you eat, it's all about like the sweet and the salt and the say, you know. And the crunch. That the is amazing. Yeah, so you've got like a seaweed wrap and then inside the crisp is sweet, isn't it? Mm. I think because I had that first, I'm not getting a lot of the flavor of this because yeah, that's, that's so strong. So pungent. But this is really good. Mm. I'm just going to go out there and say that's probably the best thing I've ever tasted. It's so good, isn't it? <laughs> I don't think you'd say that. Taukino Sea Roll. That oh, is... this is a product of Thailand. That is amazing. That's so good. I might have to see if I can find them on Amazon and get yeah. like a, a pack box of, like of them. 100. Wow. Mm. 
20 out I think that goes 100 actually yeah, out of 10 that, that is, is so insane and watch it what a great little light snack mm -hmm. you don't Keep feel a couple bad of those for that in my bag. <laughs> the Hawaii the popcorn is really good mm. but like you say after that yeah. it makes it taste quite just plain I'm gonna give the popcorn 8 out of 10 yeah same Big Island Delight Cookies and Confections. And I've got Island Princess Macadamia Popcorn Crunch. Are these actually cookies in here? Aloha from beautiful Hilo, Hawaii, the home of Big Island Delight. We're a family owned and operated bakery committed to providing you with the finest quality of cookies and mm. confections. Just one taste and you'll discover why we have become one of Hawaii's local favorites. Oh, I was thinking this looks like Chet Mix, you know the bits where you get the yeah. rye, the rye biscuits. Oh my word. Yeah, maybe this is a savoury. Oh, it, yeah. Maybe they're just known for cookies and confections. Mm. I'm so confused right now. They look like they should be savoury, but they're sweet. Are they? Don't the know about the bits. pretzel. I haven't had a bite. How about yeah? Is the pretzel sweet? I'm not this then. That's sweet. Is this good? Yeah, really good. That is so buttery and caramelly. Mm, yeah, I this... love the branding of that. Yeah, really nice, isn't oh, it? Oh, wow. This is really unexpected, but absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that mm. really is buttery and caramelly. Mm. Right, we need to go to Hawaii. Definitely. <laughs> and you know when they say, oh, made in a factory with peanuts? Yeah. This says, packaged on shared equipment with peanuts. <laughs> okay, shared equipment. what are you giving? I'm gonna give the delight a nine out of 10. Yeah. Because I think I've like the Chex Mix are better, but it's really good. Whereas these are a 10 out of 10. This I'm going to give them both popcorn. a 9 out of 10. They're absolutely amazing. I would actually say this is better than the um, Werther's original popcorn we had recently. Oh, really? This is actually because better. it's got that flavor of the mm. nut as well. Very, mm. very nice. <laughs> this is so good. Wholesale Unlimited. We've got a few things from there. Okay, here I'm goes. Big, I'm a big fan of wasabi. Alex nuts. is a big fan. Yeah, but I never. I don't think wasabi nuts are that hot, are they? Wasabi's hot though. Can be it hot. It depends how. Depends how much they've put on. I love the colour. Mm. Very spicy. We've got a dry heat. Oh! You know it's that spicy. Yes. Do you think they're quite sweet? <laughs> the aftertaste is actually. Mm. It kind of hits you, but then it disappears. Mm. But then it's fine. Oh, mm. no. <laughs> I think that's why I like wasabi though, because it's like it's a very dry and sharp heat that it's happens like, bam, very quickly. And then it's gone. And then it goes. What I don't like about pepper heat it is that around. no, it's not too bad at first, and then it builds oh. and it builds and it builds and it builds and it builds. Because this is like hard and sharp, almost can't breathe out your nose for a second, and then you're okay. That took me back to the time where, um, like, my sushi had been mm. sat right next to the wasabi. Yeah. The paste. Yeah. And I didn't realise. Oh, I love that. Oh, I so... love slathering wasabi all over my sushi. Do you know what? Mm. Considering they are a heat, ignore the heat, the flavour is really nice. Mm. And the fact that it's a peanut, I think it makes a peanut taste nicer. Yeah. I love that hard shell on the outside. Mm. It's right. On to the biscuits now. Mm. Don't you think these packets are so mm. pretty? So like, nicely look packaged. Look at that. So nicely designed. I really like this one, but I think that one you've got in your hand With is the pink the strip nicest. is just amazing. Mm. If we're having biscuits, should we set that tea up? Oh yeah. We've got a pineapple Ooh. strawberry. What a great and then I sounding think tea. Hibiscus bliss. Hibiscus one of your oh, favourite. Yeah. So should we do one of each? One of each. And this is by the Hawaiian Natural Tea, Body Wise Earth Friendly, Organic Herbal Tea. Or should we go get the kettle on? Yep. Hawaiian natural tea is good for you and good for the planet. Body Wise blends to help fight disease, boost immunity and restore vitality. Earth friendly cultivation to sustain nature's precious supply of fertile soil and pristine water resources. While that cools down, shall we start with the Maui original shortbread cookies? Yep. This is their homemade bakery. Maui's best since 1960. Oh, these are nice. Oh, thank you. Oh, smell great. Mm. Mm. That's a good shortbread. I like the way it crumbles in your mouth. That's delicious. Mm. Got a nice buttery flavour. Homemade bakery began in 1960 when Joseph and Monica Kozuki opened a small bakery along Market Street in Waikiki, Maui. Our philosophy was simple, provide the best tasting products possible using the highest quality ingredients, all at an affordable price. It might not be, but I feel some of these are smaller companies mm. And this is Diamond Bakery since 1921. 
And look, I love this. At the bottom it says time for more. Oh, that's cool. We didn't realise, but um, you know when we tried Frittle, someone said they know who makes it and mm. said, look at the bottom of the packet. And it said it had a picture of that's her cool. on. Oh, wow. Oh, I wasn't expecting sweet, that. They're pink. Pink, pink, squish, wink. Funny, because on the photo at the front, they don't look that no, pink. No, they look just like biscuit colour. <laughs> wow. Oh, they smell amazing. Ooh, oh, guava. Hawaiian biscuits. Mm. Can I read you back? Funny, they smell much stronger than they taste, mm. but it's still delicious. Oh my word, today, Diamond Bakery is Hawaii's largest cracker and cookie manufacturer. Products are baked fresh every day using time-tested recipes, pristine Hawaiian water, and local ingredients. This mm. is delicious. That's nice. I love how hard it is. Mmm. Mm. Really good, aren't they? It's a biscuit, but in some but ways it has more of a feeling of a cracker in some ways, with a very slight guav. Guava flavour. Guava flavour. I think they're some of the best biscuits I've ever had. They're amazing. I think I personally prefer the shortbreads. But I love that's the shortbread, me. but these, I think just because they're so different, yeah. they're amazing. I'm mm. going 20 out of 10 for those. I love them. I'm going to go 10 out of 10. I'm going 10 out of 10, 10 for 10 those. Yeah, they're amazing. Yeah. Absolutely delicious. I'm not going to get a 20 out for them. I'm going to keep those Although over there for good. me. Should we okay. do a waffle roll? Oh, yep. Oh, these are cool. Bigger quite, than I was quite, expecting. Imagine that could be really nice with a little filling of something as well. Mm. Mm. They're perfect for like the ice cream sundaes. Mm. It says, please try our other great flavors. Coconut wafer, ginger wafer, sesame wafer, fortune cookies. It mm. tastes like a fortune cookie. Yeah. Petite wafer cookies. Mm, they're delicious. Mm. They're really, really they're nice. They're really good, aren't they? They're really nice. Nice refreshing snack that doesn't feel like you're having anything too bad. Mm. Mm. It's very light, isn't it? Very light. Eight out of 10 for me. Eight out of ten. I'm going nine out of ten. So I've got um, Hawaiian cookies, coconut, and I've got the toffee mac and mac nut. Mm. Oh, that's nice. I hate dunking things in two. I love it. Toffee macadamia. Mm. I don't know how to explain it, but you know, sometimes when you bite into things, it's it's more like aerated. Surprisingly, I think I actually prefer the coconut ones. Yeah, so do I actually. They're almost air too airy. Too light and not enough. I can't taste really the toffee. No. Whereas I like the coconut yeah. ones is really good. Maybe I shouldn't be having another one, but I want to dip it in my tea. Right. Down below, are you a tea dunker mm. or not? People seem to think, oh, all Brits love to dunk biscuits. Just but no, they time. don't. Here it goes. How are yours? You want to try that? Yeah, I want to try mine. Mmm. Mm. Really nice flavour. Pineapple and strawberry. I like that. Sometimes I feel like hibiscus can be a bit bitter, but that is delicious mm. and so is this. Yeah. I think that cold would be really nice as well. Mm. Okay, should we actually try these cookies? Yeah, I was thinking about that. So these look very fancy. Very ornate. Premium shortbread cookies. Honolulu cookie. Mm. Oh, these wow. look really nice. So these so, are all individually and they're wrapped. they're shaped like pineapples. Some are plain, some are dipped in chocolate. Oh my Some are word. chocolate chip. Chocolate chip. Our delicious favorites. Mm. Butter macadamia, chocolate chip macadamia. Oh no, look, guava. this has got a bit in the middle. I think that's a guava. Connor coffee, mango macadamia, pineapple What's the macadamia. Uh, oh, dark triple. If you'd like to order some of these, you go to honolulucookie.com. Order online. Yeah, so you could pretend that you've been on holiday. So on Zoom, you could use the Hawaii background and then you could order a box of these and then you can make all your work colleagues jealous yeah. and make you think you've been to Hawaii. So right, if we do one of these, um, just like you more plain chocolate dipped do. ones. I'm having a white chocolate dip. This looks really great, doesn't it, look? This looks really good. That really good shortbread. Oh my word, this is insane. That white yeah. chocolate is amazing. Did you get no the white problem. chocolate? Yeah. Usually with sometimes things like this, the biscuit's good, but they've kind of not done the chocolate as yeah. good. That white chocolate is insane. That is delicious. And I don't want to upset anyone Scottish, but that is one of the best shortbreads I've ever had. Yep. On par with Scottish shortbread. Mm. I'm just gonna gotta try this triple chocolate macadamia. That was absolutely insane. Really light shortbread. It's more of the shortbread that kind of crumbles, mm. but it's nice. It excites me so much that there is loads of white chocolate ones. Mm. That's probably one of the best shortbreads I've ever had. Yeah. 
because they so don't good, usually ever do white chocolate. No. Amazing. Yes, absolutely you could dunk your own amazing. shortbreads. Oh, this tea is lovely. It's absolutely delicious. You are right. It's a really particularly good hibiscus yeah. tea. Okay, they are getting 20 out of 10. Yeah, they're 20 out of 10. If you can get your hands on these or want to send someone a gift, mm. I would recommend that. I reckon you could probably hand select which ones you want, yeah. but that is amazing. So good. Very, very good. So we've got this Jade Lee Hing cotton candy. Oh, and these are Lee Hing gummy bears. That's that flavor, That's, isn't yeah. it? This is Jade Lee Hing. It has a strong, mm. distinctive flavor and is often said to be an acquired taste as it has a combination of sweet, sour, and salty taste. It has also been described as tart and even tangy. Mm. Is it nice? Well, with this, it's nice. I could imagine if it was a bit more concentrated, it could be quite. It's nice. It's. I want to say it is kind of like a well-rounded flavor. It tastes almost flavor. like a, like tamarind. Yeah. From mm. the Mexican. It tastes a bit like those tamarind spoons. I'm wondering if these are going to be quite spicy. Mmm. Mmm. I like it on that. Mm. Now I understand because I said in the video previously that I've seen on TikTok people putting. Uh, like this spice mix mm. on on top of gummies, and obviously we don't really get that here. So I was like, I wonder what's that it's really like. Really good, isn't it? Really delicious. Mmm, mm. I like that a lot. <laughs> I think I prefer the gummies to the cotton candy. I really like the cotton candy bit. The fact that this has got the jelly with it. Mmm. Mmm. These it's are amazing. It's time to enjoy life. Enjoy snacks. Enjoy snacks.com. I'm going ten out of ten for those. Yeah, they are actually really good, and I think I like them because there's like that added flavor of like a bit of spice it's not it just it makes them not whoa that's massive look how detailed it is as well and like it <laughs> looks like water on a mm. glass yeah i like how that adds like another flavor of complexity like another layer because sometimes gummy bears can be a bit boring. just a bit sweet that's why i think i really like the albanese gummies because they're not just like your bog standard yeah. gummy bear that gives them something else Yo, these are massive. Absolutely massive. Almost like one of those um, chocolates feel like um, you bite the top off. There's liquid inside. Mmm. Mmm. Nice. You don't get many pineapple flavour candies. No. They're insane. Really good, aren't they? Mm. 10 out of 10. I shouldn't have had a second one, but you know. Mmm. I wouldn't say they're particularly that sour. Export quality. Oh, dried like mangoes, dark chocolate and robed. Mm. That's delicious. Yeah, it's not sour at all. Hawaii knows how to do sweets. Mm. They're delicious. Hawaii know how to do sweets. And cookies. Biscuits. Wafer rolls. I would say popcorn. all of those are 10 out of 10. And I can't even put one above the other because I like the spice on the gummy bears, mm. the flavour of the pineapples, but the flavour on those ropes is mm. so good. Right, mangoes. These are a heavy and thick taste, irresistible fusion of imported dark chocolate and a premium Philippine mangoes. These are 7D, whatever that means. Ready? Ooh. Ooh. Ah, enrobed. Yum, yum. Mmm. The only thing that could make a dried mango better? Dark chocolate. Do you know what? I think I'd actually, I've not tried the dark chocolate yet, but the dark chocolate doesn't make me want it more, like chocolate on mm. a dried fruit. No, and I, I would happily eat dried mango, but I mean, if there's one thing you could do. So on that end and I'll have that end. Mm. I just love that mango on its own. I think it's nice it's half, not the mm. full thing. That reminds me of that um, Trader Joe's dried mango because mm. it's not too dried and that's not really sugared. Yeah. I hate it when there's loads of crystal. See that mochi crunch? Quite yep. fancy trying that. Mochi crunch. We and then the we've rice? got rice puff, and then maybe these go with it. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, is that like the same, but mm, chocolate, covered? chocolate Oh, Island Princess is the same brand as uh, the popcorn. Mm. Oh, these are the things covered in soy sauce, aren't oh, they? Oh, We look, had something like look. this. Oh, well, cool. We had something like this from the Guam box, didn't we? Remember, oh, they were covered in soy yes. sauce. Oh, yes. And look, I think this is exactly the same, mm. but chocolate. Am I saying things like twice? Did it exactly the same? Yeah, you've got a stutter. Right, that is a good really bit of snack. nice. That soy sauce on it is so lovely. Yeah, I'm a big fan of soy sauce. Mmm, I like that combo. Mm. How's it with chocolate? Really good with chocolate. Oh, it's still got the soy sauce on. I think so. Mmm. Right, a lovely crunch. 
That's Did actually really nice heat? chocolate. Well, I think they have a tiny little bit. And then it kind of gives like a rich or bitterness. Mmm. Yeah, that soy sauce flavour. Mm. That is delicious. That is nice, isn't it? Are you going team chocolate or no chocolate? I'm going to go with a beer, team no chocolate. Yeah. Without beer, team chocolate. Those with chocolate are so nice and I think would go really well with a cup of tea. So this is where we do, um, I haven't actually got any beer with me and they didn't send any beer, but I would like to do a quick, Alex is talking about beer tasting section of the video because two of my favorite beers that I've ever had are actually from a company called Kona Brewing, right. which have one that I really like called Big Wave Golden Ale. One year when we went to LA, I found and that was all I drank the whole time. And their other one is Longboard Island Lager. Right. Which as I've said before, I don't generally like lagers, lagers, but this is a really good lager. I haven't tried any of their others actually, but if you can get hold of any of those Kona beers, they're definitely worth trying. Are they trying. from Hawaii? They're from Hawaii. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Sorry to interrupt. Are you not having a beer though? I haven't got any. No. Which is annoying because they actually do sell them in M&S. Oh, really? So I probably could have got some if I thought I had, but yeah. I didn't. They're delicious. I'm giving those uh, nine out of 10. They're so close to 10 I'm out of 10. I'm gonna give them 10 out of 10. That's not what I was expecting. These are like the things from the German box. Oh yeah. Really nice sweet flavor on them. Mm, they're really nice, because at mm. first they don't taste that sweet, but as you get into them, they are actually quite sweet. Mm. They're really nice, so it's like a nice light snack, aren't they? It hasn't got nuts in, but do you not think it feels kind of nutty? Yeah, at first it did. Mm. I like those a lot. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Very understood. Like, I wasn't expecting it to be that good. Yeah. Sometimes rice puff they treats could be a bit... look a bit boring, don't they? But actually, that had a delicious flavour. Because, like, Rice Krispie treats are one thing, but Rice Puff treats, yeah. they're like the healthier mm. ones and sometimes a bit stale. I'm excited to get into mm. these rice cakes filled with red bean paste. I'm interested. When I used to go to London for class, you remember yeah. we went to Chinatown yeah. and I saw these and I bought them because I thought they looked amazing. And I swear you get these at like Yo Sushi. Yeah. It's like a little dessert. So. Do you want them? Oh, they're the straw. Wow. Ooh. They, that's what I love so much about them. The, the way they feel is so good, isn't it? That's amazing. What's the difference between the red and I'm not and sure. It's almost like dough before it's cooked. Not what I was expecting at all. The texture. Mm. I love the texture so much. They're so like pillowy, aren't they? Mm. Yeah, I think last time I had something like this, I didn't really like it. I, I'm the same. But I think it's because I thought I was expecting it to, from the way it looks, it almost looks like a really donut. Really sweet. I thought it was going to be but really sweet, but it's not. It is a little bit sweet, but it's almost quite savoury. I remember buying these, mm. not liking them, Super but that was over 10 years ago. Mm. <laughs> and we tried some in a video in one of the Japanese videos, didn't oh, really? we? I mean, I, red bean paste we tried. Oh, red bean paste. But like, I think I'm finally understanding the flavor a bit more mm. because this is really nice. Mm. It's not like overly sweet at all. Not at all. And what you would expect. Mm. Yeah, because I think from the look of it, it almost looks like a Japanese donut and you think it's going to be really sweet, but it's not. Well, from Yo Sushi, I get the strawberry cheesecake balls. Yeah, the mochi balls. And that's balls. got a really thin outside mm. of that. I love that jelly almost yeah. type, but it doesn't have red bean paste. It has like a cheesecake yeah. in the middle. Really Delicious. good. Mm. Okay, so we've got two brands here, Hawaiian Host, mm. and then we've got an Island Princess. And I'm pretty sure now that that's the same brand. That we from, tried. From Guam, yeah. with the sticks. With the sticks. It, I was gonna say it wasn't this one, was it? No. And I love all the branding on these. I think we've had Ooh. a few meltages. I Have remember seen this Founders Collection Matcha Chocolate Ooh. Signature Premium Green Tea Chocolate covered with whole macadamia. Oh wow! I remember when Kahal used to get our boxes and mm. do the videos. He'd have to put them in like an ice box. Really? Because he'd melts. film them on the, like the same day, though, yeah. wouldn't he? Kahal, if you're still watching, Aloha. We hope you're Aloha. doing well. Aloha! Oh, these are beautiful. These are cool. Two oh, little nice. cups. What flavour are these? Toffee coconut coated. Coated macadamia nuts. Covered in luscious milk chocolate. That's really delicious. Look at this packet. It's like iridescent, isn't it? That's really cool. That's like what you'd you'd want to buy from Hobbycraft for your scrapbook. Yeah. 
I really like that they're toffee coated. Yeah. Do you want to go for this? Yeah. Matcha chocolate. Matcha chocolate. Matcha too good for children. The first time I tried, tried matcha, mm. I really didn't like it. Well, neither of us liked it, wasn't it? With the pocky. Mm. It was a bit like, um, remember we said tea bag 100 but, times. Yeah. Just tasted a bit like a wet tea bag. But, but um, that mixed with the white chocolate. It's really nice. It's really delicious. Mm. Mm. Shall we do um, Mac Nut Crunch? Yep. Oh, melted together. That one melted. Whoa. These are amazing. They're like little peanut butter cups. Mm. Mm. Milk chocolate covered macadamias and uh, crisp rice. That one's my least favorite so far. Out of the two. <laughs> mm. This is creamy caramel and macadamia covered in milk chocolate. These are kind of like turtles. That caramel one is the best so far. That one's the best. Mm. No, do you know what that's like? What? Russell Stover Peak and Delight. Oh, it is actually, yeah. Even though it's macadamia. Yeah. I think I prefer the macadamia than pecan. Mm. So I wish Russell Stover made a macadamia one. What is that? This is signature premium milk chocolate covered whole and half hazelnut, uh, macadamia nuts. Okay. Mm. Out of that, my top two will be the matcha, believe it or not, mm. and this one, the toffee one, the caramel. My top two are the milk chocolate and the caramel followed by the matcha and then the mac crunch. I think the um, the milk chocolate on that is actually really yeah, delicious. Yeah, the milk chocolate on that's nice. But I didn't like the milk chocolate on the crunch, the crunch one no. as much. I don't know if it's the same. It doesn't seem as rich though, does it? Mm. But this does say signature premium. Maybe, Maybe it's a different level. I wonder, because it does look more fancier as yeah. well, the packet. As we are on chocolate, I was thinking, why don't we crack open this? The Kona bar. 100% Kona, coffee beans and passion fruit. Oh, that's an interesting combination. Yeah. Coffee beans and passion fruit. I think it looks really pretty though. Belgian milk chocolate, 32% cacao. Good Isn't stats, it? good stats. It's funny because usually with passion fruit, um, people go white chocolate. Yeah, and I wouldn't have thought coffee. passion fruit and something bitter like coffee. No, thank you. The coffee is strong. Strong smelling and strong tasting. Mm -hmm. And that little pops of sweetness. There's like passion fruit crunch. Mm. There's little tiny pops of it in there, aren't there? That kind of level out the coffee. The flavor of the coffee and the passion fruit are in things, like little bites. Mm. Because I'm not a coffee lover, it's not my top. Mm. But if you loved coffee, I think you'd really enjoy that. Did you like that, Al? I, I, enjoyed the, it, yeah. I thought the chocolate tasted nice and the passion fruit crunches were nice. Personally, I think I'd prefer just coffee with chocolate or, or just passion fruit. Yeah. I think together, a bit of a strange combo. Mm. Okay, should we try these guava items? Mm. We've got Hawaiian Sun Guava Jam, and apparently this is the island favorite, and Chow Woods Guava, it's tropical candy. Mm. I love the little packet. Obviously that must be what colour guava is, but I love that yeah, the packaging that. is quite often like a peachy, pinky and it and looks green. retro, don't you mm. think? I'll open the... Ooh, nice. Oh, this is cool. They're like chews. I don't know if they're going to be hard or chewy or like razzles. Amazing flavour. So it's like a square pellet. Almost a feeling of Pez. Mmm. It's like a double pez. But it's dry. It's not like a, a chewy sweet. Mm. It's powdery, but yeah. not like a... Well, that is like pez. Pez is like mm. crunchy like that and crumbly. That's really good, isn't it? That is delicious. Now, obviously, we'd usually um have some toast with this. Mm. I love guava. They're 10 out of 10, by the way. Guava is really good. Is that it? good? Mm. Mm. It's got such a lovely sweet fruitiness, has not it, yeah. guava? It's so nice. It also makes it has like a caramelliness as well. Mm. I like guava a lot. It almost seems too sweet to go on toast. Yeah. But that is delicious. Yeah. I think that'd be really good on toast though. Mm. Haven't we had a guava jam before? Guava jam before? Yeah. I that was we... from Colombia, I that believe. That was amazing. Mm. Do you want to try these little uh, popping candies? Yeah. Volcano Ooh, popping candy in lychee flavour. If it says volcano, does that mean they're going to be spicy? Oh, or just... it looks like there's flames. Spicy popping candy. Are we going to risk it and put the whole packet in? Yes. Are we going to risk it for a chocolate biscuit? 
Are we gonna risk it for a chocolate, chocolate biscuit? biscuit? Yes, we are. Ready? Three, two, one. Luckily, oh. they're not spicy. No. Lovely, like it just means like a volcano. Yeah, of... erupting in your mouth. Also, there are volcanoes on Hawaii, aren't there? So. Oh yeah. Yummy. This one's a very active one. With some of the pop rocks, it's like pop, 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 yeah. pop. Whereas this is like. Like constant. Mm. Okay, I really fancy trying these. That's um, They're chewing gum. I am struggling to hear you, but carry you on. Hear me? Yeah, because all the popping in my mouth. Oh. Messina especially loves to buy the gum and thought you'd like to try some. This looks interesting. Like, look at the flavors. And I love how there's a couple of different shapes. Shapes. So you've got this green apple one here that's Can I smaller have peach? and the peach. And you've got melon bubble oh. gum, strawberry bubble have gum, they got... orange bubble gum. Th is there just one in those melon ones? Or because they're individually wrapped? I don't know. This is like a, then a smaller one of what we just had. It's like a Russian dog. Oh, wow. Do you remember? We had That's chewing cool. gums. Oh, these are balls. They've got minis. How interesting. Mmm. I've never had peach chewing gum. It's a really nice, natural, not overly sweet flavour, that. That is so cute. So you get a couple that are single portions and then a few that are like Balls a mini in. pack. Look at this at the back. Do not eat. Inedible. Uh, that's just to keep these ones mm -hmm. in line. How funny. Mm. I like that though. I like that a lot. I've never seen that before, like a mixture. Okay, and we're down to the last two things. I just love these. These are mini, like mini nuts. Cookies. They're really cool. And then and we've got Hon some Hon Honua honey. Honua honey. Macadamia blossom. These are so cool. Don't you think these are like what you used to get on like the aeroplane? Yeah. Like I wonder why you'd go for a triangle. I don't know, but it's cool, isn't it? Yeah. I love this branding. Mmm. Honey roasted. Mm. This is Maui onion and garlic. Ooh. Oh wow, they're massive. I'm gonna mm. get about six in there, but. Mm. Oh. I never knew I wanted a Maui onion and garlic. A savory macadamia mm. nut. That is so good. Mm. That is insane. I think that has to be the best macadamia nut I've ever tasted. That would be so good with a beer. What a great it beer. It tastes snack. like you're eating a bag of chips. Yeah. The roast is nice. Mm. Delicious, aren't These they? These are 10 out of 10. I think I would give the uh, sweet Maui onion 12 out of 10. Mm. Really delicious. It's the final countdown. Really delicious. Pour a bit on there. Yeah. Not too much. Really delicious flavour. Hmm. Wow. Delicious. That is delicious. Hmm. That's delicious honey, isn't that it? That's really good. And then there was none. There was none. Well, Messina and Carrie, thank you so much for sending those absolutely amazing boxes. I feel like we've been on a total journey and we've tried so many different flavors. Yeah, it's been good to get a taste of what Hawaii has to offer. Some of the, you know, the crisps and the popcorn, so delicious. And also some of the sweeter snacks and the biscuits were amazing, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, I absolutely love trying everything, especially those guava flavors mm. and the, how do you say it? Mochi. The Lee oh, Hing. Hing. That was delicious yeah. and what a surprise. Mm. And if you could only keep one thing, what would it be? Mm. I think it's gonna have to be the white chocolate cookie. Mm. I would say Oh, this. I forgot about that. Although this says product of Thailand, so although it was from Hawaii, it's not technically a Hawaiian product. I yeah. think if I had to pick one Hawaiian product, I would go these biscuits with really? you. Yeah. These, these are, are so, so good. good. And what a nice box, such a good gift idea. Mm. Um, we will be sending you a box of British candy back to enjoy. If anyone else would like to try some British candy, we'll leave a link down below. And that's the best way for you guys to support this channel. If you enjoy seeing our videos and you wanna help us keep doing this, then please think about checking out our website and seeing what we have to offer. But we hope you guys enjoyed watching this and we'll see you soon. Bye guys. See ya.